Welcome to my reading room. I am Mayush. Today, I am reading the storybook Mimi and Nanny. If you have a copy, go ahead and read along with me. Mimi and Nanny Written by Denise Dennis Illustrated by Tian Mimi's parents are very busy, so they decided to get a nanny. Mimi doesn't like her new nanny. Like all little girls, Mimi only wants her mummy. Whenever nanny takes care of Mimi, Mimi would pout and shout, You are not my mummy. For dinner, the new nanny makes spaghetti. Yuck! Mimi says and screws up her face. I don't like the taste. Mimi's big sister exclaims, this is yummy. Can I have more? Please, Nanny. And she eats it as if she's in a hurry. At bath time, Mimi says, I don't want you. And she runs down the hall, leaving behind her too. Well, says her new Nanny, that just won't do. Your sister will have all the fun. And whatever will you do, she will swim and splash and blow bubbles with the soap. I guess you prefer to see a mop. Mimi does turns up her nose. Nanny says, your sister will have all the bath toys, I suppose. What could Mimi do? She runs to the bath and has a fun time too. The next morning, Mimi's parents kiss her goodbye and say, be a good girl for the nanny, dear. I don't want her, she declares. If you're not nice, you'll go to the naughty corner, calls her father. However, Mimi didn't seem to care. She plops on the ground and kicks her legs up in the air. You're not my mummy, she screams, even though she knows it's a little mean. I know, dear, nanny tells her I'm only your nanny. But nannies can be quite fun too. We have magical powers and can play all day. But I guess on the ground you prefer to stay. What could Mimi do? She got right up and went to play. They fight an imaginary dragon and save some cute puppies from its dungeon. Then in the garden to the fairy's kingdom where they meet the magic fairy and the princess who rules them. While well, Mimi's big sister is still at school, Mimi and Nanny swim in the kiddies pool. When Mimi pretends to be a monster, Nanny runs and cries, Please don't eat me! When her sister comes home, in the bath they make lots of fun. Mimi and her sister didn't want bath time to end. That's all good and well, Nanny says. But then you will miss a wrap in my magic towel. Bedtime, she tells them stories. Her voice is kind and soft. I warn my mummy. Mimi whimpers. Mummy will be home soon. Nanny whispers. Then she cuddles Mimi closer as she quietly hums a tune. In the morning, Mimi tells her parents, I don't like my new nanny. I like the new nanny, says her sister. And I like the new nanny, says mummy. I love my new nanny, Mimi shouts. Everyone laughs. The end. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please click the like button.